Will Tiger make the cut at the Farmers uh, Insurance Open? He's at 72, which is actually tied for 84th after day one. I watched a lot of him yesterday. Hit the ball a long way, man. Yeah. I, I think the uh, the stats are out. He might have been number one in driving distance. Does that sound right, McLevin? Uh, let me double check. Yeah, I just saw that. He averaged, I think he was uh, 314 yards. Um, I don't know if accuracy was great, but I think distance-wise... He was ninth in driving distance. Okay. 314. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he had some moments there where, you know, it's just fun. I just want to see this one more time. I don't know how long it lasts, but I want to see it one more time. And I also, it, it's more that I want a new generation to see. Because everybody goes, oh, yeah, you know, Tiger Woods, you know, he used to be great. Or, you know, you'd see the highlights and then go, whatever happened to him? And you've had this, what, seven, eight-year period where we haven't seen anything. He said he was nervous yesterday. He's come off as a little more confident, but uh, he said, look, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know if you'd ever get that out of Tiger. Do we have Tiger from yesterday, Seton, where he does talk about how nervous? I'm always nervous. I mean, I, I care about what I do. And uh, it was fun to feel that uh, competitive rush again and try and, you know, I had a scorecard in my hand and uh, try and post some numbers. Yeah. And I think people looked at, uh, I, I wasn't looking at distance. It's always been accuracy with Tiger when he was driving, uh, getting up and down his putts. And there was a little bit of magic, almost had a hole in one. And I'm watching that live. And Tiger can't see it because of the sun in his eyes. And all of a sudden he said, I've just listened for the crowd and almost had a hole in one. And that's a tough course. I know he does well on Torrey Pines. I think Tiger has done most of his damage on seven golf courses in his career. If you look back, I think half of his wins are on seven different golf courses. 53% for some reason, I think. But he he loves these golf courses, and when he plays them, he wins. Yeah, Paul. Has he been gone from the majors long enough where everybody will be rooting for him on a Saturday and Sunday if he's in contention for a major? Or is there still know. be a contingent that's like, he's not my style? I don't know. I he's He's hard to like. He's hard to warm up to, but he's easy to admire or be fascinated with. And he's just not a warm guy. And, and you know, I'm always looking for that where did he really enjoy this? And then he didn't enjoy it. We know that. And just that body language of he played with Patrick Reed, who I think he's friends with from the Ryder Cup. Uh, but I don't – it feels like there's a little – I don't know. Maybe there's mortality to Tiger where he understands – I, I got this chance. I don't know how long it lasts. I'm kind of surprised myself, and let's see where it goes. Yeah, Fritzy. To Paulie's question, the desire for a c great comeback story often overshadows a lot of negative stuff. And, uh, and although Tiger has some questions in his uh, in his past, I don't know if he did anything that awful where you wouldn't want to see him get back on top once more. Well, it's up to the individual and in what you see if, with Tiger. I, I just want to see the greatness. I never cared about off the course. Never. Never cared about that. Only how that would affect him on the course. That's the only thing I ever said when that drama played out uh, with his wife and the car accident and, you know, the other women. Just how is it going to affect him as a golfer? And then we saw that, you know, he had health issues and you have back surgeries and uh, knee surgeries. And those are all connected. And you intertwine all of that and you're trying to come back and swing as hard as he does, did. You know, there had to be modifications, but uh, no, it was fun. Fun to watch him yesterday. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.